it would appear as though an Amazon listing has accidentally leaked a roster for DLC Pack 1 for Mortal Kombat. The roster includes Quan Chi, Omni-Man, Ermac, Peacemaker, Takeda, Homelander, with five cameo characters being Tremor, Johnny Cage, Chameleon, Mavado, and Farah. Hold on, let me adjust this. I feel like it's not turned up properly. So, um, a couple of the comments just saying Omni-Man and Homelander killing brutally and dying brutally would be great to see. But however, but however, pick one. It includes early access, you know, 72 hours. That's three days that if you buy that fancy schmancy edition, you can get in early before all those other losers. You can polish your skills because you won't be you won't be polishing to anything else in, in this game. Let me tell you, you know what I mean? You better be into men or furries. You know what I'm saying? I guess Mortal Kombat's come a long way, but we don't need to get into that here. Because if I really wanted to, boy, I could tell you what things are used to be like and what things are kind of like now, if you know what I mean. But, 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 let's celebrate, I'm sure. This is all something very, very fun for the types of people who are into it. I'm not going to edit this, but you might, so allow me to throw up a green screen behind. Yeah. Yeah, why not? The gaming community eagerly awaits the release of Mortal Kombat's upcoming DLC characters and the recent rumors surrounding the inclusion of Omni-Man from Invincible, Peacemaker from The Sushi Squad, and Homelander from The Boys have ignited a wave of excitement. I am aware that Peacemaker has his own TV show that James Gunn helmed but you can correct me in the comment section if you want to anyway. This crossover between these popular intellectual properties not only promises an intense clash of power, but also taps into the unique appeal of each IP. Additionally, we'll be exploring and contrasting the portrayal of these characters in Mortal Kombat. But for fun, why don't we weigh them against Street Fighter? You know what I mean? See how that might impact fans' expectations. <sighs> Omni-Man's arrival in Mortal Kombat. He's the central character from Invincible. He possesses immense strength, speed, and vulnerability. His inclusion as a DLC character, I'm sure, would excite those fans and show comic book nerds what, what, what real brutality is all about. The prospect of pitting Omni-Man against Mortal Kombat's iconic characters such as Scorpion or Sub-Zero, you know what I mean? Uh, get over here or whoopsies or whatever the hell he really says. I think he says, uh, oh my god, he says something stupid. It's not whoopsie. It's something. Tell me what it is in the comment section below. This of course will create an intriguing clash of powers, personalities. And a lot of clothes, you know? You wouldn't want those girls to be looking too good, you know what I'm saying? We trying to think, keep things pretty dove. <laughs> pretty dove around here, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> With their made-up statistics. <laughs> Get memed, holy shit. Alright, um, look, Peacemaker's inclusion, right? He's gonna be appealing, I'm sure. Peacemaker played by John Cena in the Sushi Squad movie and uh, in his own series is a character that is known for his unwavering commitment to peace, no matter the cost. His integration into Mortal Kombat as a DLC character would no doubt captivate the, the pelvic thrusting fans of not only DC, but, you know, MK as a whole. Only MK I'm interested in is MK Ultra. You know what I'm saying? That aside, Peacemaker's inclusion could introduce a unique playstyle 
that combines his trademark wit and unrelenting combat prowess, making him an engaging addition to the Mortal Kombat's diverse, you know, roster. I, I, I'm sure he wouldn't play like any other gun characters that you've come across before. Getting to Homelander, bringing the chaos that this milk-drinking mother, this menacing leader of the Seven, it, it doesn't stop it. Superhuman strength. Homelander can fly. He can fly. He's your evil Superman. He's got the laser vision. Including him as a DLC character in Mortal Kombat would generate immense excitement among fans of the show and MK fans as well. Homelander's unpredictable and brutal nature aligns a little too well with the over-the-top violence and fatalities that are fine in Mortal Kombat. In fact, they define Mortal Kombat the way that the girls used to be fine and define Mortal Kombat. But these days, oh, how the times change. I guess you're appealing to a different crowd, and that's okay. I hope that when they win, they jump up on stage and tell us, you know, their political leanings, because that's relevant. And hey, you know, they did so well, you gotta listen to them. They, they get to plop their balls right in your, nope, don't get de demonetized. Nope. <laughs> now, Mortal Kombat vs. Street Fighter, two iconic fighting game franchises that have traditionally showcased, you know, a variety of different things, bringing different things to the table. Mortal Kombat is known for its emphasis on gore and brutality, which often results in female characters being a little more conservatively depicted these days because I guess the right Sarkeesian snake Keesian to her way into your studios and horse whisper to some things that, you know, she's had one dicks too many. <laughs> so now... <laughs> I would like to retract those statements. You know what I'm saying? The way I'm sure they wish they could retract Amazon blowing the load. You know what I'm talking about? Give you me a good old rub of the of the roster of that 72 hour early access. Do you think plans will be changing behind the scenes? Do you think they'll make it so that, oh, we'll, we'll have a different trailer ready by the showcase, the PlayStation showcase that you can watch right here with me on Wednesday the 24th. Would you miss it? Would you dare to miss it? It's gaming's future we're talking about here. Not gaming in the grave. Because they only want ugly woman. You know what I mean? What is this, a Dove commercial? I'm trying to find my way into the splash zone. Not have my thang shrivel and fall off. While some fans appreciate the diversity in character designs between the two franchises, others may view Mortal Kombat's approach as pretty weird, you know? It's one thing to want to objectify less, but overcorrection in the way of not offering the variety and the choice to people to at the very least look as sexy as they want to, because if you knew anything about business, and I'm not commenting on how well the game's gonna sell, but if they knew anything about business, they would just offer the sexy skins at a premium and watch everybody buy that. But, for a game that's going to have Omni-Man and Homelander in it, I guess we'll see just how tame Mortal Kombat has become. Thank you for listening and watching. Do what you need to do in the comment section. Don't make me have to tell you to do it. Don't make me have to tell you to do it. You're looking for a fatality. That's what you're looking for. That's what you're looking for. I know it. Goodbye.